What is up everyone? More second generation battles here. This one is going to be Yu Yu against Latsu, a nice player. I leave his link to his channel in the description. And without further ado, let's jump right into the battle and hope you enjoy it. So, he leads off with Mr. Mime as I live with Quillfish. I cannot stay in because he might just go for the Psychic and I don't want to lose my Quillfish right on the first turn for nothing, so I switch right off the bat into Blossom. Um, he's setting up the Reflect, so it's cool by me. I just can use a Sunset Board to paralyze something on his team and I, it probably will switch out because he doesn't want to get his Mr. Mime status yet. Unfortunately, I missed the stun spot on his Venusaur, so I send in my Wigglytuff, which is my Rest Talker, on the predicted Sleep Powder, and now I double switch back into Quillfish, as he also switches out into Arcanine. In a good position here, I can set up my spikes, because he most likely is going to switch out, but no, he actually stays in, predicting my spikes, and gets off a Body Slam. He gets the Paralysis, but my Quillfish carries the Miracle Berry, just because of those situations, status, uh, lead, mostly lead status. So he switches into his Mr. Mime to take the Hydro Pump, and now he's most likely not going to overpredict like in the first turn, so I switch back into Blossom. Takes the Psychic fairly well, and now Stun Spore on something again. This time he actually will um, stay in and go for Ice Punch, but Blossom Special Defense is really good, so he takes like so takes it really well. Mister, I missed the Stun Spore again, and now he's probably going to switch. So I just use this opportunity to recover some HP with the Moonlight. Again, I'm trying to go for the Stun Spore. He uses Toxic, which will cripple my my special wall here, but fortunately this time I get the stun spore off. It helps against this Venusaur. It goes for a body slam. I try to bring my quillfish in and start attacking him with some sledge bombs. I have my spikes up, so I really don't need my quillfish at this moment. I know he has an Arcanine, so but I have my Sudo Wudo still, which can deal with it later. Or so I thought, which you will see what I mean with this. So here he, get, he scores the paralysis with the body slam. We get both fully parallel on this turn, and on this, and here I get a fully parallel again. But it doesn't really matter because he brings in his magneton, and I selected sludge bomb, so it wouldn't affect him anyways. Here he, sw he double switches into Gyarados, probably scouting me, and I had a, I had the HP ground just because of magneton. But yeah, Gyarados finished me off. I bring in Electabuzz. Just going for a safe Thunderbolt. He hasn't revealed a ground type yet. But yeah, he has his Venusaur, which can take special attacks all day long. As long as they are resisted. So now I'm thinking. I could have gone for the Ice Punch, but I thought no, well, let's go do Pelossum, which can usually wall mo most Venusaurs. Unless they have HP Fire, but even with HP Fire, Pelossum's special advantage is good. So I, I should be in a good position here. I have HP Fire myself because of opposing Grass types and also Magneton. And Body Slam is not doing that much, even with the help of Poison. And I have Moonlight to support me on that. So I'm using Moonlight right now to recover my health. And Arcanine staring on Blossom's face. I need to switch out. And I figured, well, so the Wudo can take Fire Blasts pretty well from Arcanine and should be able to deal with it. So I go for the straight for the Rock Slide, but here he reveals hid and Hidden Power which is super effective and it deals a good amount of damage, It's so it's probably either Grass or Water, I'm assuming. Could be Ground or Fighting too, but judging by the amount of damage it did, it's probably Grass or Water and it clean takes me out with two Hidden Powers and now I'm in a bad position. Uh, here I just go with my Needle Queen, go for the safe Earthquake, as it brings in Venusaur, and with Spike's damage, Earthquake takes it out. Not sure if that crit matters, but if it did, well, he was fully, uh, he was paralyzed, so I would be faster, anyways. So here, 
I decide to risk it, take a psychic, and just use love in case on this Mr. Mime to put him out of commission. And now I predict a switch into his Gyarados and go for the T Bolt. But after a good play on my part, here comes a stupid play. I thought Needle Queen would outspeed Gyarados, so I stayed in. But no, Gyarados is faster. And I, w I just didn't remember that. And that cost my Needle Queen. Uh, and it was a heavy loss. Now I bring in Electabuzz. I need to T Bolt. Uh, because I cannot afford to overpredict at this point. And he actually switches into Mr. Mime, but with spikes and T Bolt. Gets a good amount of damage here. And he decides just to fodder off Mr. Mime. Because he. He doesn't see many. He doesn't see any use for it anymore. And now comes the bane of my existence against this team. He's Primeape. And you will see, he, w he has a set that is really unusual, but it worked out pretty well. So, first of all, here he reveals a curse. And I was like, okay, it's Primeape Sweet Curse, that's really uncommon. But then I see he doesn't have an item, and then when he goes for rest here, I thought, wait, he has the Miracle Berry, right? And yep, the Miracle Berry right there, so it's... He has rest and Miracle Berry to wake him up and then curse, cross chop and body slam as he revealed here. It's actually a very creative set, even though people don't like to use Curse on Primate because it needs to sacrifice his speed. But in this case it worked out pretty good. And that cross chop did a lot of damage to Electabuzz. I'm even surprised how he survived that. But yeah, now I am only left with my Wigglytuff. And luckily the Sleep Talk gets the double edge and finish off the Prime Ape. Now in comes his Gyarados. And I was like, please don't have curse. Please don't have curse. And he has curse. So here at this point I realized that I cannot win this anymore because yes yeah even and I have in my two sleep talks I get two rests in a row so yeah he just he's just setting up on me and even though I get a curse with this sleep talk it's not going to do the trick so it's just a matter of time until this Gyarados finish me off so yeah, I can already say that's good game, and props to Latsu. He had, he showed some really funny and creative sets that worked out pretty well. And in Yu Yu, you you can see that you don't have to stick to standards. You you can be creative. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and your feedback. Subscribe if you want more of this, and. Till the next video, with the next battle, see you then, later.